So copyright, as everybody here should know, is a regulation. Regulation by the state intended to change what would have been a regulation by the market without copyright presence. It's an exclusive right, a monopoly right, a property right that the government gives out because it's necessary to give it out to solve an inevitable market failure. We wouldn't get enough creativity unless the government provided this kind of subsidy in the form of this monopoly so that creators can get the return from their creativity. Now, I am pro-copyright in this sense. Even in the digital age, especially in the digital age, I think copyright in this sense is necessary. But what we've seen over the past 14 years since the birth of the internet age is a fight about copyright, a fight about artists' rights primarily. So for example, in the context of music, we've seen massive, quote, sharing using the infrastructure of the internet with the courts eventually have determined is illegal. That sharing has been fought by artists or especially their representatives. We on the kind of free culture side have been challenging that fight. They defended the fight. But here is the point we've got to keep in view. If you get about the din of that battle, both sides acknowledge that for artists, copyright is essential. For a certain kind of work, certain kind of creative work, copyright is essential. But copyright is relied upon not only by artists. Copyright is relied upon as well by publishers too. <clears throat> publishers, very different animal. We don't have to go as far as Milton who said publishers were old patentees and monopolizers in the trade of books. Men who do not labor in an honest profession to them learning is indebted. We don't have to go that far to recognize that the economic problems faced by publishers are different from the problems that creators face. 